Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's Wednesday Web Chat. Uh, I'm Carl Lewis, your host today. Today, our topic will be Crystal Reports Basics. So today, we want to take a look at Crystal Reports. So Crystal Reports Basics today. First thing I want to cover with you is, okay, where are Crystal Reports managed in SAP Business One? So if I open SAP Business One, and uh, uh, all Crystal Reports, uh, when uh, the SAP Business One client is installed. The Crystal Reports viewer is installed automatically. Now, I have cockpits deployed here on the screen, and you'll notice under Common Functions, I have a number of Crystal Reports that I've placed into the Common Functions section. Um, now, I can run them from a menu. I have all, all these same reports over here under this Samples folder. Uh, they're all here, right? And uh, I can run them from the menu just fine. As you can see, I'll run one from the menu. Uh, without any trouble. And it'll run from the menu, but you notice I had to navigate there. So I typically place them in the uh, common functions location. They're much easier to run because it's just one click. I don't have to go searching for them. And the ones that I commonly use are totally available to me, which is great. Um, the Additionally, um, to get things into that common functions section, so I've got another folder here for my Crystal Reports class that I teach. And this is like a very, very small snapshot today of that two-day course. Um, I can take anything that's in any menu, not just Crystal Reports, by the way, but any of them, and just uh, click on it, hold it down, and drag it into the custom uh, area, the custom functions area. Now I can click on that report and run it with one click also. So that's a little bit about, you know, kind of where they're located. When you bring them into Business One, when you import them or place them in menus, you do that in administration, setup, general, and under the report and layout manager. Now, a number of things that can be done here, um, I'm going to go to exactly where we were here at this menu structure, and you'll see under the samples folder, here we are, there's a whole bunch of them. There's that back order report we were looking. It always knows here that this is a crystal report. And if I don't like it in this menu, I can use this function here to move it to any other menu. And you'll notice also that you can create new folders. That's how I got folders named Crystal Class and Samples, right? Uh, 